What's going on guys? It is Berg back here for another one. And tonight it is kind of late, but I thought we would do a review on Yingling Light Lager. And before we go any further, let's get a look at the can presentation. Okay, um American owned since 1829, 99 calories, Eagle on the front, light lager, 12 ounce, America's oldest brewery, DG Yangling and Son Incorporated, Pottsville, Pennsylvania. Uh, per 12 ounces, 99 calories, 8.5 grams of carbs, 0.82 grams of protein, 0.1 gram of fat. Paragraph about the company, and same thing again. So, uh, overall, you know, it's not my favorite uh, package of theirs. Okay, traditional lager I think looks a little bit better, uh, but definitely not bad. And we've got a very nice yingling glass here with me so we're gonna pour this So pretty light to it, if you can tell. Um, scent, I mean, just kind of smells like light beer. Okay, a little bit about it. Um, you may be aware, if you've been around a while, I did a couple other Yingling reviews. Reason being why I would uh, eventually like to complete all of them it's a local product okay from around where I'm from uh, been to the brewery okay traditional lager I will tell you is my favorite beer I'm not saying it's the best beer that's made I'm just saying for me for my taste uh, my favorite probably by quite a significant amount the most uh, beers I've had of one particular kind is traditional lager uh, some people say they don't care for the taste, uh, it's got, you know, too much flavor or whatever, too strong, but that's what I like about it. Um, so the, the selection of the other things that they make, okay, traditional lager, light lager, which we're drinking now, uh, premium beer, which is just a cheaper domestic, I have a review on that, uh, premium light beer. Okay, and for both of those, they're, they're tough to find if you're not in the area. Um, I can tell you that right now. Then they make Oktoberfest in the fall, uh, Lord Chester Field Ale, that's all year round, uh, Porter, year round, very dark beer, uh, black and tan, and they make, what did I miss, summer wheat. Okay, they used to make Bach. I'm not sure if it's coming back or not in the winner I want to say and then they make IPL which also I haven't heard anything about lately okay so that's the the breakdown of what they have um, you'll find that it's pretty uh, moderately priced compared to regular domestics okay in Pennsylvania a case of 24 of lager will set you back about 16 17 18 dollars uh, for the premium beer, it's a bit cheaper. It'll be 12, 13 bucks for a 24 pack. Um, of course, they make six packs and 12 packs and quart bottles and 24 ounce cans and all that, all kinds of sizes. Um, but let's get into this. Okay, um, definitely lighter than traditional lager. Okay, definitely stronger than premium beer. There's elements of uh, German beer in there. Okay, Yingling, German name. Um, part of the idea with like Lord Chesterfield Ale was to try and bring an, uh, the, the, you know, that style into the brand and stuff like that. Um, but this is just going to be, uh, you know, it, it's kind of like a cross between a German beer and a regular uh, 
domestic, okay. Um, I'll check real quick with you what the alcohol content is. I'm sure it'll be a little on the low side being light. All right. 3.2%. Yeah, that's a little bit low. Um, and I pulled up Beer Advocate. They rated a 68, which is a poor. Um, then again, Beer Advocate, basically everything that's not some obscure uh, beer is rated poor usually by them. Let's let's do a little comparison real quick. Um, so here they give Coors Light a score of 51, which is awful. Okay, I, you know, so... You can't really uh, rely on this too much because you know the people rating these are very much into into their their beer. It's you know, uh, and they're looking for either you know your, their competition here is all with microbrews and stuff like that. When you take a look at Beer Advocate, uh, so that's my only little problem with them. Um, you know, if you if you want to get a rating of a domestic it's all going to be bad on here um, but anyway what do i bergs without going into extreme detail think about yingling light lager okay a little bit on the light side for me um but definitely not bad okay i think i would rather have both premium beer the cheaper one and Obviously, traditional lager being my favorite. I think I'd rather have both of those over this. Um, it's just, it just feels like it's missing something. Obviously, it's light, so yeah. But, if you like light beer, you might like it. it I will say, uh, it, it is going to taste just a little bit different. Um, but a lot of people like that about it. Um, so, and, and obviously another reason to like this, American owned, uh, completely not like, you know, some of these big companies that are American beers, but foreign owned, um, completely, you know, American owned. They have a great uh, brewery tour if you're ever in Northeastern Pennsylvania. Uh, make sure to stop and check it out and get your free samples. Um, but yeah. Overall, I would give, and I gave uh, traditional lager 10 out of 10 when I did it, I'd give this about a 7 out of 10 okay for me. Uh, obviously, I'm going to be fairly generous with the ratings because I'm not one to dive extensively into these microbrews or anything like that, or this isn't really in that in-depth of a beer review because that's not what I'm all about. Um, but it is it is fairly decent. It's a fair price. Um, not my favorite by them, but definitely uh, still very satisfying. Um, definitely goes down pretty easy. I mean. And, and the alcohol content's a little on the low side, of course, uh, but it is light. Um, so I don't have much else for you. It's pretty late. Uh, we'll see when I get this uploaded. But I hope you enjoyed. Leave a like if you liked the video. Comment, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Take care.